Tiny Paws, Big Adventures, A Yorkshire Terrier's Tale Our main character is an adorable Yorkshire Terrier named Max, a bubbly bundle of joy who was recently adopted by a loving family. Max, with his glossy coat, perky ears, and twinkling eyes, possesses an infectious energy and an insatiable curiosity that makes every day an adventure. Max's new home is a spacious, warm haven, filled with the laughter and love of a close-knit family. The house comes with a sprawling yard, where Max can chase butterflies to his heart's content. A special corner in the house, filled with comfy doggy beds and a plethora of toys, is dedicated solely to Max. The first day at his new home was a whirlwind of excitement for Max. He sniffed every corner, wagged his tail at every new sight, and even mustered the courage to climb the stairs. His new world was filled with wonder and he embraced it with open paws. The family that welcomed Max into their home consists of a mother, a father, and two children. Their reaction to Max's arrival was a mixture of joy and surprise. The mother was smitten by Max's cuteness, the father admired his spunky nature, and the children couldn't wait to play with their new furry friend. As days rolled into weeks, Max started bonding with each member of his new family. He would snuggle with the mother during her afternoon tea, accompany the father during his morning jogs, and play tirelessly with the children, always ready for a game of fetch. His loving and playful nature endeared him to his family, solidifying their bond. Max quickly became more than just a pet to the family. He was a companion to the mom, a buddy to the dad, and a playmate to the kids. His expressive eyes and wagging tail worked like magic, melting their hearts. His playful nature, coupled with his loving disposition, helped him bond with each family member, making him an integral part of their lives. On his first night in the new house, Max felt a little anxious. The unfamiliar surroundings and the absence of his previous family made him whimper. But the family didn't leave him alone. They comforted him, stroked his fur, and reassured him. By the end of the night, Max was snoozing peacefully in his special corner, surrounded by the warmth of his new family. As a new member of the family, Max had a lot to learn about house rules. Where to pee and where not to chew were the basics. The family was patient and understanding, guiding him through every step. Max proved to be a quick learner, adapting to his new home's routines and rules, showing his intelligence and adaptability. Among his new belongings, a squeaky bone toy quickly became Max's favorite. The family would often find him trotting around the house with the bone in his mouth, a sight that never failed to bring a smile to their faces. The squeaky bone became more than just a toy, it was a symbol of Max's joy and happiness in his new home. Max's adventurous spirit shone brightly during his backyard explorations. The vast green yard was a wonderland for him with endless possibilities. He would spend hours chasing squirrels and butterflies, digging holes, and sniffing around. His antics in the backyard became a daily source of entertainment for the family, bringing even more joy to their lives. Max's first bath time was an event filled with laughter and a little chaos. The normally bubbly and brave terrier turned timid, trying to escape the foamy water. However, with gentle coaxing and a rubber duck, the family managed to give Max a thorough clean. His fluffy coat became even fluffier, making him look like a small teddy bear. Next came Max's first visit to the vet. Although he was initially nervous, he surprised everyone with his bravery. The vet's kind demeanor and the treats in her pocket helped Max to relax. His health checkup went smoothly, and he returned home wagging his tail, a brave little soldier with a shiny new badge of honor. The park was Max's favorite place to explore. With wide open spaces and other dogs to play with, he was in his element. The family would often take him there, where he would chase after frisbees, play with other dogs, and always return home tired but happy. One day during a family outing, Max got lost. The family was panic-stricken, searching high and low for their beloved pet. But Max, with his sharp sense of smell and a bit of luck, managed to find his way back to them. His return was met with relief and joy, making the family realize how deeply they loved him. Max's relationship with the children was precious. He became their furry alarm clock, waking them up with wet kisses each morning. 
When they were sad or upset, Max would be there, offering comfort with his warm presence. He was their best friend, their confidant, their little furry brother. Max's bravery shone through one sunny afternoon when a small bird fell from its nest. With gentle nudges and persistent barks, Max alerted his family to the distressed creature. His caring nature had saved the day, once again proving that he was more than just a pet. For his first birthday, the family spared no expenses to make Max feel loved. There was a special cake made just for dogs, and presents wrapped in shiny paper. Max wagged his tail in joy, his eyes sparkling with excitement as he enjoyed his special day. Christmas brought about a miraculous adventure. The family woke up to find the presents missing. Max, with his keen sense of smell, led them to the mischievous raccoon who had stolen their gifts. His heroic act added to the festive cheer, making it a memorable Christmas. As time passed, Max grew from a tiny pup into a full-grown dog, but his bond with his family only strengthened. His playful antics became a source of daily amusement, and his loyalty was unwavering. He was more than a pet, he was their faithful friend. The joy of having Max in the family was immeasurable. His presence filled their home with laughter, comfort, and endless love. Every evening, they would cuddle together in Max's corner, sharing stories of the day. Max had become an irreplaceable part of their lives, a bundle of joy they couldn't imagine living without.